Hello guys, welcome back to a brand new video and welcome back to my FA Cup predictions. Before we get started, this video is sponsored by LOL T-Shirt Company. Um, obviously you might have heard of them before, I do sell my merch. I'm, the link for my merch is down in the description below. Um, I saw a few of you um, wanting me to do the whole lot of the game, so I think there's about 32 ties in this round, which is exactly what I'm going to do, so there'll be no recap in this video, but I will go through all the game and give you my true predictions, um, but anyway guys, you know what I do, so guys, you know what to do, subscribe for more, thanks for watching, and let's go. So the first game we're going to talk about is Bristol City versus Rosary Town. Um, Bristol City are having a bit of a downer um, of late. Um, you know, this is a kind of cup that teams would like to go for, but no disrespect to the lower divisions, but like one Premier League team is basically going to get it. Um, but as far as this result goes, I'll go for a 2 1 Shrewsbury Town win. My next one is Millwall versus Newport. Um, Millwall are doing okay in the championship. I think they might be in the top half. I'm not quite sure, but um, you know they're doing well, which I'll go for a three nil Millwall win for that one. My next one is Rochdale versus Newcastle. Um, Newcastle are having an okay season in the Prem, um, which I'll go for a 2-1 Newcastle win. My next one is Rotherham versus Hull. Um, you know, both teams are doing okay in their division. I'll go predict this one to go to a replay and I'll go for a one all score live for that one. My next one is Birmingham versus Blackburn. Two championship clubs going up against each other. Um, one championship club is more confident than the other, in my opinion. Um, yeah, again, going forward, I'll go for another replay and I'll go for a 2 2 score line for that one. My next one is Burnley versus Peterborough. Um, Burnley. You know, having a bit of an every Christmas period, if you like. Um, you know, results will go quite to plan. Losing to Villa um, in the, in the uh, Premier League. Um, there will be more recap of my Premier League predictions on that result. Um, but I'm going to go for a 2-0 Burnley win. My next one is Brighton over Albion versus Sheffield Wednesday. Um... Brighton over Albion, um, you know, drawing against uh, Chelsea at home. Um, as I said, I'm not going to recap too much, but Brighton, I think they're doing okay. Um, you know, how far they've come um, together. But I'm going to go for a 4 0 Brighton win. And the last time these two clubs met were in Brighton's promotion season to the Premier League. Um, my next one is Cardiff City versus Carlisle. Um, I'm going to go for a 3 1 Cardiff City win. Um, all these kickoffs are, you know, a minute and it's basically get us talking. So make sure, you know, if you are struggling in life, you do get talking. Um, it's vitally important, and um, do get talking. There is help out there, so you know if you need it, make sure you you get talking and go get the help you need. Um, my next one is Fulham versus Villa. I'm gonna go for a two-one Villa win. As I said, there's a lot to get through, so a lot of them I'm just gonna hand my results over. My next one is Oxford United versus. Hartlepool. I'm going to go for a 3-0 Oxford United win. 
My next one is Southampton versus Huddersfield. Southampton have been on the up in the past few weeks of the Premier League. Um, Huddersfield, you know, are on the up in the Championship. I'm going to be just another replay and I'm going to go for a one score scoreline for that one. My next one is Brentford versus Stoke. Both teams in the Championship. Um, going forward with both clubs. I'm going to predict another replay and I'm going to go for a one all scoreline for that one. My next one is Preston North End versus Norwich. Um, one Premier League, um, one end of the table, one in the Championship just falling outside the playoffs. I'm going to predict another replay and I'm going to go for another one all scoreline for that one. My next one is Redwood versus Blackpool. Um, one team's in League One, one team's in the Championship. I'm going to predict a 2 1 Reading win. They're doing well lately. Um, my next one is Watford versus Tramia. Going forward with Watford, um, doing ever so well under Nigel Pearson, 10 points out of the last four games. So I'm going to go for a 3 0 Watford win. My next one is Bournemouth versus Luton. I'm predicting an upset, a 2 1 Luton win. My next one is Leicester versus Wigan. Um, Leicester um, you know doing well and um, top two in the champ uh, in the Premier League. Wigan, you know, ain't doing too badly either. Um, but as far as this result goes, I'm gonna go for another replay and I'm gonna go for another two two scoreline for that one. My next one is Wolverhampton versus Man United. Two Premier League clubs, two struggling this previous weekend. I um, can't remember, I uh, think, yeah, uh, Wolves lost to um, Watford, and May United lost to Arsenal. Another replay, another 1 1 scoreline for that one. My next one is Port, uh, Fleetwood versus Portsmouth. Easy Fleetwood win, 3 2. Um, my next one is Manchester City versus Port Vale. Quite easy prediction this one. I'll go for a 4-1 Manchester City win. But don't be surprised if there's an upset there. Um, my next one is Cheltenham versus West Bromwich Albion. Um, yet again going forward. Um, Cheltenham are doing okay. West Brom got a point against Leeds. Another replay. Another 2-2 two -two scoreline for that one. My next one is Chelsea versus Notts Forest. Chelsea on a bit of a down after uh, losing that 1-0. Um... I didn't lose one now, I drew it 1-1, one, one, but they were 1-0 up, so I'm going to go for a 2-1 Nightingham Forest win. My next one is Crew Alexander versus Barnsley. I'm going to call this one a quite easy one. I'm going to go for a 2-1 Barnsley win. I believe they will survive in the championship. Um, my next one, Middlesbrough versus Tottenham. No surprise, Jason Mourinho got booked um, in the Premier League game. Um, I'm going to go for another replay and I'm going to go for a one all scoreline for that one. My next one is QPR versus Swansea. Um, I'm going to go for a 2-1 Swansea win. My next one, Sheffield United versus HMS Fair. Um, you know, Sheffield United are ever doing so well in the Premier League of late. Um, going forward, I'll go for a 3-0 Sheffield United win. My next one is Bristol Rovers versus Coventry. Both teams in League One. Both teams doing ever so great in their divisions. Um, going forward, I'm, I'm expecting a bit of a neck and tuck game. Another replay, 0 0 draw. Um, my next one is Burton Albion versus Northampton Town. Um, going forward with this one, I'll go for. A 2-1 Northampton Town win. My next one, Crystal Palace versus Derby County. Uh, yeah, again, I'm going to call a bit of a shock here. And I'm going to go for a 2-1 Derby win. My next one's a Merseyside Derby. It is Liverpool versus Everton. Quite easy, 3-1. Uh, and I, I don't know, I won't say it's easy because they're... Uh, just got Carlos in charge of Everton. So I'll go for a 2 2 scoreline for that one. It's better than another replay. Um, my next one is Gillingham versus um, West Ham. 
Um, David Moyes did get a win against Bournemouth, no real surprise. Um, I'll go for a 2-1 West Ham win. My last one for the FA Cup and my EFL literally about to come up um, is Arsenal versus Leeds. Uh, I'll go for a 1-0 Leeds win. Uh, my EFL Cup predictions, starting off with the big one, the Manchester Derby. Um, you know, Man United, Man City, um, two legs, um, this is, so, if you're going to go forward, I'll go for, may, I'll go for a 2-1 Man City win, but the second leg, I'll go for a 2-0 Man United win, it's probably as well as it's going to spend always. Um, my last one for this uh, EFL is Leicester versus Aston Villa. Um, I'll go for a 3-0 Leicester win and the second leg I'll go for a 2-1 Villa win. So there you go, you've got both legs there as well. Um, but anyway guys, if you enjoyed this video, I hope it's quick enough for you. Um, give it a big fat thumbs up if you enjoy it. Subscribe for more. Thanks for watching. Ciao for now.